So now some more words of welcome and congratulations from our department head, Dr. Hakavirta, please. Thank you, Dr. Bird. And hello, everyone. Um, my name is Marco Hakavirta, and I'm the department head of Forest Bar Materials. This is a very special day, and on behalf of our department, congratulations to all graduates. Um, I know that our faculty has really asked you to work hard and we're confident that you now are ready to conquer the world. Congratulations for that. Um, we are truly living very historical times. As you know, the year 2020 has been tough and it will definitely be remembered in history. Um, I think it's a fair statement that the history will be defined as the world before coronavirus and the world after it. So you are the first ones who graduated in this new era and you really had to go through some tough times to finish your studies. So keep that in mind and find strength from it as the world does recognize the hardship you guys have gone through. Most importantly, remember all this will pass and the world will get back to normal and we will all come out of this stronger than before, stronger than ever. Okay, now it's uh, time to celebrate. So, um, Congratulations again on your accomplishments. And before I finish, I really want to thank all parents, grandparents, and families um, for your support. Our students could not have made it without it. And of course, thank you to the faculty, the staff for going, I have to say, above and beyond in times like this. It truly has been a team effort amongst all of you. And thank you all. And finally, again, congratulations to the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Hakaberta. I want to add my own welcome to the graduates and their guests, as well as my hearty congratulations. Okay, graduates and your parents, think back with me four or five summers ago. Many of you with your family were sitting in a large room and I can't recall enough to remember if it was in Jordan Hall or whether it was in the student center. And you were there along with me, other faculty, and Jennifer. It was at New Student Orientation. And after I finished scaring you all to death with my don't do this speech, you remember that one, right? I finished up by saying, well, the next time we'll all be in the same room together will be a very different day than it is today. Instead of wonder and confusion and maybe a little bit of apprehension, There'll be smiles and smiles and more smiles on the faces of the graduates and their families. And there will be pure, unmitigated joy. Does anybody remember what I called that day? Do any of you students remember what we called that day looming down the road? We called it, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, happy day is here because today is graduation day and it is oh, happy day. I told you it would get here. I promised you it would get here, right? Now, back then, we could not have predicted that being in the same room together would be in a giant Zoom meeting. We could not have predicted that a little virus could have impacted us so much and affected your final two semesters so much. I'm gonna tell you something. For all that the virus has done to us, let me tell you what it has not done to us. It has in no way diminished the scale and magnitude of what you have accomplished. It has in no way diminished the pride in the hearts of your families, your faculty and staff for what you have done. And it in no way will diminish your vector for success and the possibilities for your amazing career. Keep that in mind. All right, with that said, our next job is to hear from our student speaker, and that speaker is Brianda Sneed. Brianda hails from Charlotte, North Carolina, and is graduating today with a bachelor's degree in paper science and engineering, a minor in chemical engineering, and a minor in business administration. She has been very, very active during her time here at NC State and NPSC, like a lot of our students. She's a good night scholar. She's in Zeta Phi Beta sorority. She's a member of the National Panhellenic Council. 
She's a member of the National Society of Black Engineers, our own technical association of the pulp and paper industry, and a College of Engineering ambassador. Wow. She has 12 months of industry experience, including three internships with International Paper and one summer internships with Cascades Tissue. And upon graduating, she will be taking an entry-level job with IP's location in Eastover, South Carolina. Wow. And today, Brianda is supported by the presence of a lot of family and friends. Her parents, Corey and Sonia Sneed, her sisters, Kia Mormon and Erin Sneed, her grandparents, Johnny Covington, Sakethia Dunlap and Ada Mormon, and as she puts here, an abundance, an abundance of aunts, uncles, and cousins. They're here to support her. Brianda, we're so proud of what you've accomplished, and we look forward to what you have to say. Thank you so much, Dr. Bird. Faculty, staff, graduating seniors, families, and friends. I am Brianda Sneed, and I'm so ecstatic and honored to be speaking to you on this incredible day of graduation. As Elizabeth Edwards, a North Carolina native and attorney once said, resilience is accepting your new reality, even if it's less good than the one you had before. You can fight it, you can do nothing but scream about what you've lost, or you can accept it and try to put together something that's good. To the graduating class of 2020, we have endured and overcome so much to get to this point. So let's make the most of this moment. Many of us came into this program thinking, I don't know what paper science is, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> While others were convinced that it was the greatest thing ever by this super enthusiastic bird guy. <laughs> now, not only do we share that same enthusiasm for paper, but we also know the intricate science of its creation and how it impacts the world around us, especially in times like these. We learned so much about ourselves by persevering to complete complex assignments. We were also actively involved in different ways on campus from conducting research to planning community-wide programs. Some of us studied both paper science and engineering and chemical engineering and or picked up a minor or two. We also spent semesters and summer breaks capitalizing on opportunities to gain professional experiences in the paper industry. However, after reflecting on our college career, I think that the biggest flex for our class was completing senior design, the hardest part of our degree program with a high standard of excellence in the midst of a global pandemic. With a positive outlook, 2020 has reaffirmed why we became engineers, more specifically, paper makers, to solve problems. I am confident that we can do anything we set our minds to accomplish. In general, college can be challenging, but studying engineering at NC State has been a very daunting task. Definitely one of the hardest experiences that we've had to date. However, those assignments and projects that once felt impossible to complete were building blocks for the solid foundation we needed to become engineers. Every pop quiz, crippling test, and lab report served a purpose, to expand our minds and prepare us to be the best at whatever we do. As a person who has testing anxiety <laughs> and a hint of perfectionism, things which I'm sure my classmates can relate to, I'm so grateful that our professors in this program taught us with an iron fist while being compassionate and giving us the resources we needed to succeed. Each encounter with faculty and staff in this program reminded me that I made the right decision to be here over four years ago. Being students at NC State and in this unique program has given us a chance to do things that we may not have dreamed of prior to college. Each year, we were able to broaden our experiences and meet new people. Classmates, do you remember how it felt to be at our first year retreat on the coast of North Carolina, be a paper mill for the first time, and <laughs> interview with companies all within the first few weeks of college. Crazy, right? We were able to adapt to college faster than our peers and other programs, something that we were thankful for as time passed. As a member of the Goodnight Scholars program and joining my sorority during my first year, I was able to gain a greater sense of community, a necessary component for success at a large institution, as many of us discovered. During our time at NC State, we took advantage of different opportunities to grow personally and professionally. 
Our cohort has studied abroad, led, and even established organizations on campus, represented both the college and the university as ambassadors, and recruited the next generation of engineers. All of these shared or individual memories and experiences molded our journey throughout college. Graduating from college is a huge accomplishment. Don't ever forget that. As a second generation college student, I followed the footsteps of my mother, who graduated from a four year institution, and my father, who graduated from trade school, to further my education to have a better future for myself and my family. The older members of my family, who didn't have the same opportunities as I have, continuously encouraged me and stressed the importance of a college degree. From then on, I made getting this degree my number one goal. By graduating today, I am setting an example for my younger sisters, cousins, and niece by showing them that it is possible to achieve their goals. Remember to thank your family and friends who helped put you on the path to college and give encouragement to those who may need it to reach milestones like this in the future. To my fellow graduates and closest friends, this is not how we imagine today at all. And even though we won't be able to walk across the stage today and hug one another, we can still make the most of this moment that we've worked so hard for. Find a way to safely celebrate this grand occasion. You deserve it. Reflect on every memory and experience in college that shaped you into the person you are today. Be proud of your growth and take pride in what you have accomplished thus far because this is only the beginning. We all have brilliant minds and now have the skills necessary to make a positive impact on our communities and the world beyond. Thank you. Ah, uh, amazing words from an amazing person. Thank you, Brianda. We're so proud of you. Okay, and now it's time. It's time for what we're here for, and that is to recognize our graduates one by one, 18 graduating today. I will call each graduate by name, say the degrees that they're getting and the minors and any academic honors. And then I'll invite each graduate, this is not optional by the way, I'll invite you to fumble with the unmute button, unmute yourself and at a minimum say hello to everybody so your name pops up, your face pops up in the speaker screen, but you're also welcome to introduce us to the guests that you've brought today so we want to hear about the folks that are supporting you today. Again, I recommend you put Zoom view to speaker view. Now, if you graduates couldn't make it today, or at least they re stubbornly refused to RSVP, but we're going to announce them anyway. If you happen to have stepped into the meeting without me noticing, jump right in when I call your name, all right? I must make two statements. The presence of these students at this ceremony in no way conveys a degree or implies that they have actually graduated. They have to be cleared for graduation and that will not occur until January 4th or 5th. Also, any academic honors designations announced here are based on the student's GPA as of this moment. That might change to some degree between now and January 4th or 5th. And now the legal stuff is complete. All right, here we go. 18 fine young people receiving a bachelor's degree in PSE and other degrees one at a time, and we're gonna take our time because this is the best day of the year in academia. Matt Burleson, second degree in chemical engineering, magna cum laude. Hello, can y'all hear me? Yes. Awesome. Thomas Dang, second degree chemical engineering, cum laude. Hey, Dr. Bird. Tanner Evans, second degree chemical engineering, a minor in statistics, summa cum laude. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. You're traveling. Yep. <laughs> Marshall Farr, second degree BA in chemistry, Minor in statistics, cum laude. Hey, how's it going? Oh, he's got a good group with him. <laughs> Megan Harrison, second degree chemical engineering, 
summa cum laude. Hello. <laughs> That's a proud hand clap right there. Emily Ann Howell, second degree chemical engineering. Hi, everybody. Peter Janicek. Peter, are you with us? I always allow time for people to fumble with that mute button. You have to allow that, right? Will Mayer, second degree chemical engineering, magna cum laude. Hey, everyone. Glad you can make it, Will. Daniel McAdams, second degree chemical engineering, cum laude. Hey. Daniel. Michaela Moore. Mm. A support group right there. We got to see them earlier today for photos. Thomas Moretz, second degree chemical engineering, cum laude. Hey guys. Thomas. Kara Mullaney, second degree chemical engineering, cum laude. Hi everyone, congratulations to all the grads. Zeb Murray. Zeb, were you able to make it? Claudia Patterson, second degree chemical engineering, magna cum laude. Hi, everybody. Congratulations. <laughs> Brianda Sneed, minor in chemical engineering, minor in business administration. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Carson Snyder. Cheers, beautiful people. <laughs> Johnny Swope. Johnny, were you able to make it? I think he might have been moving. And then last but not least, Phoenix Tiller. Second degree chemical engineering, cum laude. What's up, everybody? Congrats, everyone. He's up there with the same pain as Thomas. And going, <laughs> and going to grad school, I might add. Going to Correct. grad school. Um, I didn't miss anybody, did I? I get very excited reading these things, and I tend to skip around. Did I catch everybody? Oh, that's a good day right there. All right. Everybody, let's give our December 2020 graduates from Paper Science and Engineering our hearty round of applause. And now to offer closing words, we welcome Dr. Melissa Pasquinelli, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs for the College of Natural Resources. Dr. Pasquinelli, please. Good afternoon, everybody, and congratulations to all the paper science and engineering graduates and to your family, friends, instructors, advisors, and other supporters. I am so honored to have the opportunity to graduate you to uh, congratulate you today. <laughs> you studied so hard and worked so hard toward your degree, and now it's graduation time. It's now time to bear the fruit of all of that hard work and to grow a meaningful career that fulfills you. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you imagined. A new, new phase of life starts right after graduation. I am sure the person that you are destined to be is waiting for you to unleash your true potential. This is such a joyous and proud moment of celebration. May your degree unlock many opportunities for you. May you be the change that this world needs to make it a better and more sustainable place. We are all looking forward to that. I wish you nothing but success and joy. I hope you find fulfillment in everything that you do. Congratulations again. We are so proud of you and we really hope that you keep in touch with us. You are always part of our pack here in the College of Natural Resources and the Forest Biomaterials Department. Go pack. Thank you, Dr. Pasquinelli. Here we go. 
graduates, families, guests, faculty, and staff, I urge you to let the joy of this graduation event combine with the joy of the holiday and let it spirit you through the rest of this year and throughout the next. Once again, congratulations, graduates.